Hi everyone. Today I'm going to walk you through how to make a song in Quaver Music, how to save that song, turn that song into an mp3, save it to your Google Drive in Chrome, and turn it in for the assignment this week. So let's begin. All fifth 4th and 3rd grade students have this assignment. So I'm going to just pick 4th grade today, but they will look the same for 5th, 4th, and 3rd. Click in it. Here you will see the assignment in two places. It's in my stream, my backbeat song. You can also look in classwork. Click on my backbeat song under the songwriting tab. Here, you're going to go to View Assignment. Now, this assignment is a songwriting assignment you will be doing in Quaver Music Backbeat. We're going to click on Quaver Music to log into Quaver. Click on the green button for login. Here you will type in your Quaver username that I gave you and your password. Enter. The songwriting components are in the music creatives. There are multiple users ways to make a song. We're going to do Quaver Backbeat this week. In Quaver Backbeat, you're going to, so these are all signifying beats. There's four beats in a measure. Each beat is divided into four, and you're going to mark your beats that you want to hear. If at any time you want to hear it, just push play. If you want to add more measures, click on the measures you can add up to 16 measures to make a long song. I'm just going to select some beats. It will loop your segments over and over again, but when you go to make it a song, it will be short if you just did two measures. Here you can change the speed. Moderato is medium. Largo, slow, Vivace, a little faster, and presto. Once I have the song the way I like it, I'm going to go to Menu, and I'm going to Save. You need to give your composition a new title. And I'm going to say OK. Thumbs up, it saved. Next, we're going to turn this into an MP3, which is a music file. You're going to say yes, OK. Thumbs up. Then we're going to download it. Select the song you want to download. If you've written multiple songs, they show up here. You're going to have to check the box of the song you want to download. And there is my song. Now you need to find out where this song went. In order to do that, you're going to go to download here, the three dots on the side, and say show in folder. Now it's showing you your save folder. Notice it's in the downloads, highlighted in blue. We need to move it over to your Google Drive so you can add it to your assignment and turn it into me so I can hear it. And this is how we're going to do it. You're going to click your song, drag it into Google Drive, and now it's copied into your Google Drive. Next, we're going to go back to the tab on your screen that should still be open for your assignment, My Backbeat Song. Now we're back into Google Classroom. To add your song to your assignment, click on Add. 
Here you can select now your Google Drive. And in your Google Drive, you should see your song, which it looks like headphones. Click on that. Click Insert. And then you can turn it in. At this point, you could also add multiple songs if you created many songs. And that is how you turn in a song, save your work on Quaver, save it as an MP3 music file, drag it to your drive, and turn it in for your Google Classroom. Feel free to replay this if you have any questions.